All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened LR Trunks and Mai at Rainbow Status. Now this is an EZA that not a lot of people are very high on and with this showcase we're going to find out whether all of that negativity and criticism is justified or if they're actually a little bit underrated. Now, before we get into the gameplay, I want to quickly go over their EZA details, so if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. Now, starting with the leader skill, it is Time Traveler's Category Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, or Super SDR Types Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. Their 12 key super greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And their 18 key super greatly raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And the passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus one plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 140% per time traveler's category ally on the team. Super class allies, attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional key plus 6, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when there is a Future Saga category enemy. And the links, as you can see, are pretty decent, but not maxed out. And uh, the skill orbs are level 5 attack, level 3 uh, additional, and level 3 crit slash level 1 attack for the gold. So that is my rainbow, uh, LR trunks, and my... And the event we're going to be taking on is the uh, Sworn Enemies from the Future Infinite Dragon Ball History stage because all the enemies, of course, are in the Future Saga category, which will allow the Trunks and Mai to activate their full passive. And the team is, of course, a Time Traveler's team led by the uh, Super Hearts. All right, so uh, on this first station, we have the Trunks and Mai linked up with uh, one of their better linking partners in the game, the Int Mai, and they're starting with 319k defense, which is quite good. That's actually quite good. So let's give these guys a few orbs, although they don't really need it because they already start with 24 key since they're getting so much key against um, future Saga enemies, right? So first super, let's see what happens. Okay, decent. That's pretty decent. Six point nine mil basically uh unfortunately we can't get the uh stun because i'm pretty sure all enemies in infinite dragon ball history are immune to stun i could be wrong about that but i think that's the case anyways uh yeah close to seven mil attack i would say that's pretty good of course if you recently saw the lr rose and zamasu showcase then that's not going to be nearly as impressive to you because rose and zamasu are just on another level right and it's a little bit unfortunate that you know these um two lr EZAs came out at the same time because you're always going to compare them right you're always going to compare the rose and zamasu to the trunks and mai and there's just really no comparison um no one's going to claim that trunks and mai are anywhere close to rose and zamasu in terms of performance whether it be damage output or defense really although you could argue that you know before building up their passive trunks and my will start with better defense so if we're talking about like turn one defensively trunks and my with a full time travelers team um you know do better just on the very first turn on the very first appearance right um but you know i did say on a full-time Travelers team, and that's the major issue with this unit, guys. Um, it's the fact that they are so limited, um, basically on like they only they're only good on one team. <laughs> that, that's the problem. They're only good on Time Travelers, and this was already a unit that people weren't really using because of how limited they were. And with the Extremes Awakening, they are still just as limited right they're still only good on time travelers but at least now they're better on time travelers so that's kind of the i think main criticism of the eza the fact that it didn't make the unit any more uh versatile you know any more usable on other teams outside of time travelers 
and that is yeah kind of an issue it's kind of an issue because like you know with the rose and zamasu at least you have a couple of options for teams right whereas for these guys um you only have one that that's basically it. it's time travelers or bust can you use them on other teams can you use them for you know uh, a support maybe on like future saga or like uh joint forces or something like that sure right they do provide the support for uh i think super class allies right so that's pretty good right like i'm not gonna say that they're unusable on other teams they're just not great on basically every other team so yeah um you've essentially seen what these guys can do <laughs> at this point um i will say i think they're you know really solid really really solid on uh a time travelers team especially if you're facing you know a future saga enemy like we are in in this event um but outside of that uh still still not amazing so the limitation really hurts this unit and defensively they're like good you know like 350k is not bad like that we'll take that right but oh good dodge I like that um but it's still not good enough the defense even after a super is still not good enough where like you can feel safe about having them take a super or anything like that so um they just don't really stand out in any way you know like they don't impress defensively or offensively like offensively you know the, the numbers okay it's not terrible i'm not gonna say like it's a it's a it's a terrible defensive wait did i say offensive or defense? i'm getting confused um yeah i'm not gonna say they're they're bad offensively right because like they put up like six to seven mil on a full time travelers team but the fact that you have to run a full time travelers team for them to be putting up you know six seven mil which is not even that crazy <laughs> it's not even that much damage if it was gonna be that limited they should have at least made them more broken right if you were gonna make them as limited as they are at least make them put up like 10 mil plus on a time travelers team right um and maybe it's because yo rose and zamasu spoilers right maybe it's because i did the showcase for rose and zamasu first maybe if i did my showcase for these guys first and then i did the rose and zamasu then at least initially i would be more impressed with what these guys were doing but since we have this comparison now since they both came out at the exact same time the comparison is going to be there and uh it's just really not a contest it's really not a contest okay let's see how much they take here i'm expecting some pretty decent tanking damn that's um Yo, so after a super, they still don't tank that well. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, I was at least, you know, with the greatly raising defense, I thought they would take maybe like 10, 20k, but 100k after super is a lot. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of damage right there. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, um, well, you know, that's, uh, that's how it is like i said not great defense i was expecting better defense but um just kind of a meh eza right like i'm never gonna say it's a bad eza because it's not it's, it's just not a bad eza but it's a pretty underwhelming eza um there's a lot of tur's in the game like a lot of tur ezas that are definitely much more impressive now if we had run super battle road they could have at least gotten the the stuns right which is definitely one of their strong suits right the stuns for um lr trunks and my definitely is one of their selling points right so maybe that was my mistake but i wanted to have just consistent future sock enemies throughout the entire event which is why i chose this stage and um yeah no if we if we had seen some stuns maybe if we got some clutch stuns off of them that saved us I think that would have helped um, their, their case in this showcase, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, 
underwhelmed. I guess that that's the only appropriate um, description. Oh, damn, I missed one. My bad. Um, that's the only appropriate way to describe how I feel right now. Uh, it's just nothing about them is really that impressive. <laughs> Their defense, eh? You know, it, it it's there. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not good. Um, and then offensively, they're just putting like okay numbers. At least the dodge is there. I do like the dodges, you know, that definitely is clutch, but this is only against future Saga enemies, so any other stage where you're not consistently fighting future Saga enemies, you might actually struggle to uh, get their 18 key super off, maybe, I'm not sure actually, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, but, um, you know, you're not gonna be getting the dodges, uh, it's just gonna be a bit of a hassle to, to, to use them, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I gotta, I gotta say, uh, just, a, just a little bit disappointed. Okay. Um, I think at this point it might be smart to pop a Icarus or something like that, just because we do have types of advantage with um, Bajito Blue. And even though you know his defense is like pretty high now, I know this guy, like this enemy, hits really hard, right? The the Fusion Zamasu. So, uh, maybe. You know what? I think he's gonna be okay. I feel like he's gonna be okay. Famous last words right there. Famous last words right there. Let's let's see what happens. And I messed up with the orbs. Okay, so we're not even getting a super with the Vegito blue. Hopefully he gets an additional. Um Yeah, mistakes are made on this rotation for sure. Hopefully it's Super Saiyan 4 Vegito that gets supered. If anyone gets supered here, because I'm very concerned. Oh, 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 oh. Got the counter. Beauty. Let's go. Okay, so at least some things are going well. Uh, <laughs> at least we got that going. Uh, Vegito Blue with a couple of additional supers would make me pretty happy. Come on. At least one. I guess not. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. So, now, um, we should probably, I'm going to save this active skill for, for the last phase because it hits pretty damn hard if I remember correctly. So, yeah, let's just uh, go with that and then we'll give these orbs to the other trunks in Mai and then we'll give these to Mai. Okay, so, got the dodge. Perfect. He's healing up a bit. Doesn't really matter. Another dodge. Yo, these guys are very consistently dodging. And of course, it's RNG based, right? But they're like dodging more than I remember my like UI Goku ever dodging, you know? So we got that. We got that. And the AGL trunks in my also putting in some work. It's good to see. Okay. Ooh, ooh this might be bad. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible. That's, that's, you know. It's okay. And. Right, okay, so I'm gonna give these tech orbs to Vegito Blue this time. Not gonna make the same mistake. And then we can get a super off with Hearts as well. Of course, Hearts is just basically here for his leader skill. Um, unfortunately, Trunks and Mai do not have a 200% leader at this point. On Global, at least, they do have Battle of Wits with the new. Um, Z Fighters on JP, but even with the Z Fighters, I mean, you don't want to run a Battle of Wits team, right? Because you're not going to be getting their full passive, and that's going to be a problem. So, yeah, just a very limited unit, even after the EZA. You would have really hoped that they fixed that issue, but they didn't. You know, they, they really didn't. So, uh, yeah, definitely a little bit disappointing all around. Um, I came in to the showcase hoping to be a little bit more positive, but it's hard, man. It's hard. I'm, I'm trying to find like the the silver lining here, and um, they're making it hard to find. <laughs> they're making it hard to find. Uh, ooh, we can pop the hearts active skill. Do I remember what it does? I don't remember what it does. Hold on, let me see. Um, ultimate hearts. And there's realm of, oh okay so attacks effective against realm of gods category enemies right 
Yeah, why not? Let's pop it. Let's pop it. Do I have the skip on? I do not. Okay, so guys, enjoy the Super Hearts transformation right here into Ultimate Hearts. I know it's like completely unrelated to the showcase of the Trunks and Mai, but we need some excitement in this in this video right now. So <laughs> screw it. There we go. Still no voice line on global, I'm pretty sure, but I have the sound turned off, so I'm not, you know, 100% sure about that. Uh, let's pop the Princess Snake just to be safe because we only have 286k defense, which is, um, you know, not awesome. But of course, I want to keep them in rotation instead of the ultimate hearts since we're showcasing them. We don't want to take them out of rotation. So, yeah, the Princess Snake definitely makes me feel a lot better. I mean, they. Maybe could have dodged the super anyways, but why risk it? Oh, there you go. They did do dodge the super. Good job. So yeah, the dodges have been very consistent. Okay, like the, 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 you know, not damage reduction, but basically like damage reduction, right? Because you're not taking damage uh, has been great. But everything else has been very mediocre offensively and defensively. Yeah, once again, I think I'm spoiled, man. I think I'm spoiled because like six, seven mil is not terrible. It's just not... This day and age, in this day and age, 6-7 mil is kind of standard, so I guess it's standard damage. Uh, but Vegito Blue kind of spoiled me <laughs> once again. I think that's, that's the problem. Vegito Blue. Did I say Vegito Blue? Um, Rose and Zamasu. Rose and Zamasu really, really spoiled me. Okay, uh, let's put Vegito Blue in the first slot. Okay, I'll give these two. The Super Saiyan 4, and then we should heal back to full. Yeah, for my. Okay, perfect. Okay, Vegito Blue is going to go to work here. Vegito Blue is going to absolutely go off here. Yeah, 7.1. Let me see one more. Let me see one more. Come on. Come on. 7.2. Alright, so this kind of turned into a... Vegito Blue Showcase, which I'm kind of thankful for because I was I was a little bit worried about the, the Trunks of Mai taking a super next turn and like getting us killed. That would have been a really bad look for, for, for you know, it being their showcase. So <laughs> I'm kind of glad that we're actually not going to make it to the next rotation, it looks like. There you go. There you go. The Vegitos did the job, got the job done, um, unless we hit a crit. Uh, you know, with the Trunks in Mai, we wouldn't have done that much damage anyways because of the type disadvantage, so things worked out for the best. <laughs> things worked out for the best. And there you have it, guys. That is the Trunks in Mai showcase. I know that I didn't seem very, you know, ecstatic about them throughout the showcase, uh, but honestly, I just gotta tell you how I feel about them, man. I think they're very mid, meh, meh, mid, Whatever you want to say, just not um, top tier, like Rose and Zamasu, probably somewhere in the middle, which is what mid means, right? So there you have it. That is the showcase. Um, the thing that's extra disappointing is the fact that they weren't that impressive, okay? They were just okay in this showcase on this team, and this is their best possible situation, man. Outside of not being able to stun, of course, which is one of their strong suits. Um, you know, they were on the, their, their, like a full time travelers team. So their full passive was activated. They were facing future slug enemies the entire time, which you're not going to get that often, right? Like that's a very niche, very situational thing. And same with the team. Like it's, it's, you know, you're, you're very limited with your team building. If you want to get the most out of them, which is also kind of annoying. So you just would have expected them to be much better with as limited as they are right with their passive and everything. So just a weird design, you know, it feels like, um, you know, the better team was tasked with designing the Rose and Zamasu EZA, and then the bad team was tasked with designing these guys. So hopefully for future LR EZAs and just EZAs in general, we get the Rose and Zamasu team because, you know, it's going to be really sad if other EZAs in the future kind of follow this, this format because it's not... It's not it. This is this is not it. So 
Um, definitely a unit that I will run from time to time, but uh, still going to be mostly collecting dust in my box. That's that's for sure. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about the EZA. Uh, as you can tell, I'm, you know, not the most impressed, but uh, not the most disappointed either. Just, just kind of meh. It's kind of me, just like the unit. Okay, that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.